Yo, what's going on YouTube? Energetic here, back with another video. So for today's video, guys, I'm giving you some snipe filters for the new Buzzer Beater packs that just came out. So you can see Blake Griffin is on the cover of these. And in these packs, we've got Opal Clyde Drexler, Opal Blake, Pink Diamond Desmond Mason, and Diamond Brent Berry. So, you know, not a huge content drop, but you can still snipe these cards for sure. And this actually does something about the filter like the filters have changed significantly right so i don't know if it's because of these cards or what but i'm gonna go into the filters and i'm gonna show you what what you guys can do to get some mt and then also i'm gonna show you what these cards look like if you haven't seen them already so to you know to just check out if they're actually worth it or not so we're gonna get into this video man so we're gonna start off right the opal filter has changed so if i go opal minimum buyout it says nothing has popped up but you guys know trey young and caruso we're both buy nows for a while. So if you do this, you're going to see a couple trays in Caruso's pop up. You know, you might see a few of them. I'm not gonna lie, but it's not like before where you just couldn't use this at all. So I would use this regular Opal filter if I were you and just try not to buy Trey or Caruso if it does pop up, because they will still, they, they will be the most to pop up, like the most frequent. So I would just try not to buy them, but you can use this as you can see, I'm not really seeing many right now. So now you don't have to worry about filtering out anything or anything but there's a chance that caruso and trey do become a buy now you see one just popped up in the event that that does happen what i would do is i would put galaxy opal and then you can go uh theme buzzer beater so if you go galaxy opal theme buzzer beater there's a ton of cards on here steph let, let's count them steph jamal uh kareem patrick ewing I mean, maybe, all right, maybe not a ton, but there's definitely enough where you can use this field. Or right, Clyde Drexler, that's five. Blake Griffin is six. Um, are there any more? Let me go to the collection just to double check. Premium, buzzer beater. Okay, Steph, Clyde, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so there's eight opals on this filter. So Kareem, Kyrie, Larry, Steph. Clyde, Jamal, Patrick, and Blake. So that's actually a good filter. If you don't want to worry about Trey or Caruso popping up, you can use that filter. And obviously you're going to be seeing mostly Blake's probably and Clyde Drexler's because those are the ones in packs. All the other ones are not available. So yeah, I mean, good luck with that. I mean, I'm going to spend some time on those filters, see if I can get myself some Opal Snipes because I haven't really been doing too well in the recent days. So we're going to um, go on into the next filter which is another buzzer beater filter actually. So because the, the Pink Diamond Desmond Mason came out, you can't snipe him, but you can snipe him along with all the other buzzer beater Pink Diamonds. So we're gonna go, the buzzer beater filter, like this is low-key a good filter. You're gonna go color, Pink Diamond, buzzer beater. And you can see Chris Webber, Drazen, Maravich, Brennan Roy, um, this De'Aaron Fox on this filter. Who else is there? There's probably a few more. Obviously Desmond Mason. So what you want to do is you just go to you go to the max buyout, right? Put this up to, I don't know. We're going to find out exactly what you put it up to. Are there any pink diamonds going for 26K? Any buzzer beaters? Okay, 25K. That might be a snipe, Drazen. I'm not going to buy it just in case it's not. But let's see. All right, Drazen seems to be the cheapest one. So if he's going for 25K like I did just see right there, which is not really a snipe, I would put my max buyout to... Maybe you can go 20. Let's let, let's do the math. So if you put the max buyout to 20k, I think you'll be making around a 2,500 MT profit if you do snipe Drazen specifically. Okay. So you want to put the 20. You can put 20k or you can drop it to 15k if you really want more profit. But 2,500 MT profit really isn't bad if you get a Drazen for 20k and sell them for 25. That's not bad at all. So definitely you can put it like that. And then you got Pink Diamond Buzzer Beater. Boom. There you go. Now you can snipe Drazen, Pete Maravich, De'Aaron Fox, bro, any of the pink, Chris Weber, any of the pink diamonds that are in there. You'll probably see most, mostly Desmond Mason for the most part. So that'll probably be what, you know, is going to pop up mo most often. But if you're on a budget, I would use this filter. This is like a, you know, one of, one of the pink diamond filters that are in the game right now that you can use. And this filter will be, will like always be good because I feel like they're always coming out with new buzzer beater cards. So this filter, you can use it for... You know a long time until the players start to become really really cheap and then it probably won't be that good anymore but for now you can use this uh if you get anything on this filter let me know i would love to see what you guys can get and good luck good luck good luck and so for the next filter it's basically the same thing you're doing the same thing with the buzzer beaters but you're just going diamond instead so the diamond that came out this time was uh uh brent barry i think it is 
So, I mean, the diamonds are a lot cheaper though. So you got to find the cheapest one, which we're about to find out. It's not 3,700. This is almost like the diamond filter, but you're just doing specifically buzzer beater cards. So they might go, and because they go for a little bit more than the rest of the diamonds, you know, <clears throat> this is a specific filter in and of itself. But you can see the cheapest is about 9,000 Tony Kukoc, 9,500. Yeah, the cheapest are 8,350, but that's probably gonna get bought out, that 8,000 one. So let's just say the cheapest Kukoc is around 9,400, 5,500. I would put, you can put your max buyout to like, you can put like 7,500 to be honest. You can put 7,500 and go max bid 100K because if you put 7,500 max buyout, if you're buying a player for, if you're buying a Tony Kukoc, let's say a Tony pops up for 7,500 and you sell it for 9,500, that's 2,000. You take away the 10%, that's 200 it takes away. So you're still making good profit off of that snipe. So I would go like 7,500 or you can go 85 if you really want to, but I would go like that. Um, and yeah, basically you're going to see all the diamond buzzer beater players that are available so brent barry tony kukoc paul pierce um who are some others i don't i can't remember off the top of my head but there's a good amount because they're always coming out with with buzzer beater cards so and you know you buy them you sell them for cheaper i mean not cheaper you sell them for more i'm stupid so use this filter use the paint diamond buzzer beater filter as well use the opal buzzer beater filter bro buzzer beater is a great set for sniping a great set for sniping so honestly i would use the regular opal filter and if too many trays cruisers are popping up, you can go buzzer beater. Or if just too many trays are popping up, then you can go western. I didn't talk about that, but you can go western. But you're still you're still gonna see Caruso. You just might, might want to avoid him. And yeah, bro. So that's really it for the filters. Um, I'm gonna go into the what these guys actually look like, what the cards are like, because I do think these cards are worth looking at. So we're gonna look at Clyde Drexler since he's here first. He's not really that expensive. We're gonna compare him to Tracy because they're both shooting guards. So you can see right here, Clyde, he's decent in the post. So he's definitely definitely better in the post. They both have the same 92 post fade, but Clyde has an 82 post hook. Not that I would, that doesn't mean I would actually do any post hooks with him, but it is a little bit better. Then the mid range is the same. The three point shot is down by four, but that goes up to a 99 with my coach regardless. So it doesn't really make a difference. I'm not a big fan of Clyde's release though. When I, when I used to use the spotlight Evo one, I wasn't really a fan of his release, but his standing dunk is 95, which is a lot better than Tracy's. Ball handle, they kind of split that category. I mean, this is not a comparison video whatsoever, bro, but I don't know. We're just, it just forces me to compare it. Then we got 95 perimeter defense, 84 interior, which is actually good. 80 rebounding, which is not bad. You know, he's going to be crazy athletic. Clyde was a great dunker, so you know his dunks are going to be pretty crazy. How about for his badges? He's got 40 Hall of Fame and 18 gold. Volume shooter, catch and shoot corner specialist. Acrobat, Tyler Shooter, Slippery All Ball, Quick Draw, Hot Zone Hunter, Green Machine, Flexible Release, Pick Pocket, Pick Dodger, Chase and Artist, Clamps, uh, Dead Eye, Tight Handles, Stop and Go. He's got Pogo Stick, Space Creator. He's got a lot of these good badges. A lot of finishing badges here too. Bailout, Downhill, Quick First Step, Gold Post Move, Lockdown, Needle Threader, Handles for Days, Intimidator, Unpluckable, Clutch Shooter, Defensive Leader, Dimer, Deep Fades, Range Extender, Ankle Breaker, Floor General. A great card, honestly. Would I use him over MJ or Tracy? I would not. I wouldn't because I do think MJ is better better release. I mean MJ is just goaded man like MJ I, I love MJ but we're gonna look at Blake this Blake actually looks really good bro we're gonna compare him to KG because he looks really good I don't think he's better than KG but he looks really good okay so um he's got 94 post moves post hook he's got 97 post fade so that's good I would do the post fades more than a post hook the mid range is 97 the three point is 94 same as KG the dunking is a little bit better than KG because Blake was a great dunker, especially when he was on the Clippers. His passing is almost just as good as KD. Or I said KD, KG. His ac I mean, the accuracy is higher, but the handle and the IQ is lower by one. So maybe he's a better passer overall. He's not as good as, uh, as a, of a defender than K as KG is. He only has 92 interior, 84, 84 perimeter. So that's why I said KG is definitely better. Okay, He's not as good as a rebounder either, but he's still a great one. And then he's not as athletic either. But this is a great card because look at it, 43 Hall of Fame badges, bro. That's that's always good. 22 gold. They almost have the same amount. So definitely, definitely a good card. In my opinion, that, that is. I haven't shot with him, though. I don't know what his release and animations are, but I'm going based upon what I'm seeing here. So he's got, what, catch and shoot, corner specialist, pick and popper, difficult shots, brick wall, drop stepper, put back balls, volume shooter, range extender, Tyler shooter, dimer, 
quick draw hot swing hunter chase down artists green machine clamps flexible release deep fades tight handles intimidator quick first step rebound chaser pogo stick downhill tireless defender back down punisher showtime fancy footwork fast break finisher all these good ones gold deep pokes worm post move lockdown bailout Patrick Marshall, space creator stop and go bro he has like those guard badges and he's a big man 610 bro unpluckable bro that's crazy defensive leader box now this card is good floor general ankle breaker definitely a good card um if i had him if i if i snipe him i'm gonna keep him okay just keep that in mind i would keep him because he would definitely make my team better so yeah um so we looked at the cards we gave you some snipe filters i hope that helps you guys i hope you know it helps out a lot thank you guys for all the love and support that's gonna be the end of this video we just hit 14k on stream earlier so i appreciate all you guys who've been showing love man we're gonna uh we're gonna hit 15k real soon then we're gonna then, you know overall we're on the road to 20k so if you guys are new hit the sub make sure you hit the like button man we're gonna continue running this thing up we're gonna grind every day all day bro we're grinding bro thank you guys for all the love and support i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out